Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Smith fracture imaging. Smith fracture also known as Goyeran fracture in French literature. A fracture of the distal radius with associated volar angulation of the distal fracture fragment. Classically, these fractures are extra radicular transfer fracture and can be through of reverse colas fracture. Simple say Smith fracture is the distal radius fracture with volar angulation. Smith fracture account for less than 3% of all fracture of the radius and ulna and have a B module distribution. Young male most common and early female. Smith fracture usually occur in one or two ways. Fall on a flexion wrist, direct flow to the back of the wrist. There are three types of Smith fracture. Type 1 extra articular transfer fracture through the distal radius, most common around In most instant a uh, plan risk radiographic series will suffix for diagnosis and characterize session, the fracture line is usually evident, although in undisplaced or mildly impacted fracture, it can be difficult to see and subtle cortical bridge buckling should be sought. In intra-articular fracture type 2, the degree of articular step of and gap should be assessed and this may require CT. This is an example of Smith fracture through the palmar aspect of the distal ridges involving articular surface and the ulnar steloid are identified with palmar subluxation of the corpus with respect to the form. Zing got image from a CT of the wrist demonstrate the fracture to extend from the articular surface of a radio kappa joint down to the volar aspect of the distal and the corpus remain aligned to the fracture fragment and it says sublux with respect to the intact part of the radius. Impacted fracture of the distal radius with palmar angulation and evident in intra-articular involvement, there is also ulnar steroid fracture. Impact extra articular distal radius south fracture is noted 
in molar angulation of the distal smooth fracture. There is related moderate deep subcutaneous edema. Oblique fracture of the base of the ulnar styloid process is noted with a 2 mm gap. From this two image, we, we, we can see multiple cortex for the defect involving the distal radius with extension into the intraarticular region consistent with an acute intraarticular community fracture. This marvola inclusion of the distal fragment along with impaction. Also noted is a commuted polar steroid fracture. This associated moderate soft tissue swelling about the wrist. Remaining also structure are intact. Notice location. Notice structure bony region. There is moderate joint space narrowing of the first meta, the first couple meta kappa joint with prominent also with Formation at the base, the first meta kappa. With some sclerotic change of the lunar. Treatment and prognosis. Treatment depends on the type of fracture, stability, and ability to the successful reduction, reduct the fracture. In most cases, this fracture can be treated with claw reduction and cast application. If, if the fracture can be reduced but remain unstable or cannot be reduced, then operative fixation is usually required. Malonian with a residual volar displacement of the distal radius result in a cosmetic deformity referred to as a garden spare deformity. More importantly, it also narrow and distort the entry to the carpal tunnel and can result in carpal tunnel syndrome. Thank you.